I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short, Christmas in Lent. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us rolling. We need your gift in these dark times. Today is the Annunciation of our Lord. If it were to fall on a Sunday, it would be pushed into Easter, but it's not. Um, the 25th of March, if you were to count with your fingers and your toes, we are now nine months away from Christmas. And if we're nine months away from Christmas, we need to hear about an angel who communicates to a virgin that she's going to be with child. Luke chapter 1, verses 25 and following. 26. In the sixth month, the angel, the angel Gabriel from heaven came sent from God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph out of the house of David. And the man's name and the, the, the virgin's name was Mary. Parthenos, Greek word, means virgin. She was a virgin. She didn't know a man. That means she didn't know a man. You know what I'm saying? Why are you making it awkward? Or am I making it awkward? One of us is making it awkward. Let's get back to the text. And he said, he came, the angel came to her and said, Kare, um, greetings, highly favored one. The Lord Hokurios is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. But she was greatly troubled by this greeting. And tried to discern what sort of greeting it might be. And the angel said to her, Don't fear, me fubu, don't fear, Mary, Miriam. You have found favor with God. Uh, that word is grace. You have found grace with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and call his name Jesus. And Jesus. And he will be great and be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And there will be no end to his kingdom. And Miriam said to the angel, Pus estin tautu. How can this be? Epiandre u genosco. I, I've not known a man. I told you. By the way, Around Christmas time, there's generally someone who says that the word for, for virgin can mean maiden. That doesn't mean it here. Because obviously, when, I mean, are we, are we to believe that she's lying to the angel? She's not. So if she says she doesn't know a man, she doesn't know a man. And the definition of somebody who doesn't know a man, and happens to be a young girl, is a virgin. And the angel came upon her, the, whole, the angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the glory of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child, the son born in your womb will be called the Son of the Most High. Behold, Elizabeth, your cousin, your kinswoman, in her old age, has conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. And here's the key. For not, not possible, with God are all words. 
This is the key here. A virgin conceiving is impossible. Mary's concern is, I don't know a man. And the angel says to her, look, there are no impossible words with God. And notice that everything about the birth of the Son of God is connected to the Lord's words. She, uh, she conceives not through some magical act and not some through some, you know, sort of questionable B-movie. Zeus comes down and, you know, looks at her and is like, hubba, hubba. No, that doesn't happen. Luther says, the word goes into her ears and she conceives by means of the word. And the angel tells her, look, don't worry. All words are possible with God. So if you see a shirt with Luke 1, 37 on it, don't worry. It's better than all things are possible with God. It's actually all words are possible with God. When God speaks a word to you, he does that word. You can bank on it. You can trust his promise. He will save you. So if he tells you your sins are forgiven, your sins are forgiven. If he tells you that he who believes in his baptized shall be saved, then he who believes in his baptized shall be saved. If he says, whoever hears my words and believes them shall not taste death, you won't taste death. You do, behold, she says, Mary says, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be done to me according to your rhema, your words. And the angel departed from her. She says it. She nails it at your word. He says, all words are possible with God. She says, well, then let it be done to me according to your word. And now, nine months later, we're going to be celebrating Christmas. So a blessed annunciation, announcement of our, our Lord's birth. We're going to get through Lent. And we're going to get to Christmas. And we're going to celebrate the birth of our Lord. It starts today uh, here on his annunciation where the angel announces to the universe, the Son of God is going to be born. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Merry Christmas, even in Lent. And this has been another Higher Things video short.